What is going on YouTube? This is What Would Josh Do? And this is an unboxing of a brand new D-Link product. Shout out to D-Link. They're awesome. They're amazing. And they are making it possible for videos like this to happen. Thank you so much for sending this out to me. Let's go ahead and unbox this, hook it up to our laptop, and see what kinds of speeds we get connected to our spaceship-looking D-Link router that I did a video on uh, a couple months ago or a few months ago. Use my handy-dandy unboxing knife here. And we'll go ahead and open this up. All right. Got that. <laughs> not, not the sharpest knife in the world, but it is getting the job done. All right. So we have our little guy right here. Very cool. I've been into stuff like this for a long, long, long time. I got into computers when I was 15 years old. I first started breaking them and then learning how not to break them and then learning how to fix them. So I love technology like this. This is awesome. And the one adapter I'm using now has irritated me, disconnected randomly. It's just almost not even worth using. So I can't wait to try this thing out and see if it works better. As you can read from the back here, it adds powerful Wi-Fi to your laptop, desktop, anything that supports this device right here. Ultimate Wi-Fi speeds up to 1900 megabits per second. You get 2.5 and 5 gigahertz bandwidth, advanced AC, smart beam, blah, blah, blah. Cool stuff. <laughs> USB 3.0 interface, WPS button. So if you don't know what your Wi-Fi password is, go to your router, press the button on the back of it, go to this thing, press the button, the two will talk to each other and it's awesome. And it will continue to work with backwards compatible legacy devices. On the side here, you see the WPS button, the USB 3.0 port, the LED on and off, and this is the actual size. This is very small from what it appears to be. Here you go. You can plug it into your laptop, your desktop. You can plug it into other things. This is this is awesome. Let's, let's go ahead and open this thing up and see what it looks like. I am definitely excited. Uh, also, you should definitely go check out D-Link's video. They have an a very awesome animated video of this thing and they also have their own unboxing you should go to their channel and check those two videos out I will link to them in the description alrighty so here uh, <laughs> uh, okay here we go <laughs> open up open sesame open sesame wow that's that's pretty good packaging that's awesome this thing looks like a little Pokemon ball like Pokemon was out when I was in high school, and I never really got into it. Never really wanted to, but it looks like a Pokeball. <laughs> oh, man. Come on. I don't know how this thing comes out. I guess it just... This is... Okay, cool. This just kind of comes out. Wow. It's definitely more bottom-heavy than it is top-heavy. Like, if you hold it like this, this side's going to lean that way. It's all the weights here on the bottom, so that's... That's a really cool looking ball. I, I, that's awesome. All right. And here we have some more stuff. We've got our USB 3.0 cable that we are going to be using. And let's go ahead and untangle this cord here so we can plug it all up and play with it. All right. And then you have a quick instruction guide, a little CD for starting here as for the drivers. If you don't have internet currently, to download the drivers, you could use this and then update the drivers through their website. So let's go ahead and put all this back in there, make this box look really nice. And boom. You know what we could also do? We could get a little thumbnail for the video here. There we go, that should do. <laughs> all right, so plug this into the back here. And. It'd be helpful to see. You got the little pins right. Okay, cool. Right here. Awesome. Let's grab our little laptop here and open it up. You will notice from the side here, we've got two USB ports. One of them is blue. On some HP laptops, it's not blue, it's black, but it'll say SS for super speed. So there you go. If you don't see a blue one, check for SS and hopefully you'll find it. So let's go ahead and turn this thing on and let's try it out it's gonna download drivers whenever it boots up and everything so we'll come back to this all right let's go ahead and turn this little ball on either you press it or you hold it i don't know at this point all right computer just made a sound that something was connected so hopefully it'll 
start downloading the drivers here in just a second. All right, so I went to the D-Link website. I will have a link to this in the description. If you click down here where it says Mac, you can click on that and change it over to Windows and then hit download. And it's going to be a little zip. What we're gonna do is we're gonna right click on this zip and we're gonna hit extract all and then extract. And then we're going to double click the E. Well, that's the release notes. Never mind, not what I was wanting. It's in this, another folder here set up and then yes and we'll go ahead and skip through all of this right here also uh, in case you notice the model number is DWA-192 that is what we are currently installing I was just making sure I had the right thing so in case you're curious there you go that's the AC1900 USB adapter Oh, as the drivers are installing, this little globe here is lighting up blue. So that's pretty cool. Didn't do that until I put the, started installing the drivers. All right, finish. Well, what we can do here is turn off the Wi-Fi that is... Okay, so Wi-Fi 2 is the little sphere. Let's turn off the internal Wi-Fi and turn on this Wi-Fi. A little light started flashing again. Uh, let's connect it to our 5 gigahertz D-Link router and we'll put in our password. All right, the password is in. Let's go ahead and hit next. Yes, let's go ahead and find other devices and talk to the network. And it looks like it is connected. Cool. And the light stayed blue, so now it's not flashing anymore. Let's go ahead and do our very first speed test with this new adapter here. All right, so we got speedtest.net up. Let's go ahead and hit begin test. And see what kind of speeds we get with this little ball here. We do have Google Fiber, so this should be a fairly fast little thing here. Usually the second test is better than the first one. So we'll see that here in just a second. And by the way, these are speeds you would never, ever, ever pull off with USB 2.0. It just wouldn't be able to do that. All right. Let's see what our upload is. And then we'll run this test again. Not too bad. Okay, it's okay. Let's let this test finish up and then we'll run this one more time. We got 242 by 192. Let's try that one more time. All right, we'll just hit test again. Let's see what kind of speeds we get. Let's go ahead and... I don't know what this one's... Like I said, usually the second one's faster. So it looks like it's going to be about the same. There's absolutely no complaining there. Those speeds are very, very nice. Uh, I'm not saying buying this adapter is going to give you these speeds. I have Google Fiber, so I get gigabit internet it's very fast. and I don't know what I would do without it anymore. But uh, this little adapter here is going to help me get those speeds possible on devices that don't have wireless AC built into them. Or if it does have wireless AC, it might not be the best adapter. So, yeah. I will have a link to this little guy in the description if you want to purchase one of these for yourself. Again, thank you very much, D-Link, for sending this out to me. It's very kind of you. This thing will definitely be hooked up to her desktop, and hopefully we'll get some better speeds. In fact, I'll go ahead and let you know in a second here. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know by giving it a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing for more tech videos, unboxings, and etc. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram if you're not doing so already. This is What Would Josh Do? And I'm out. Again, I'll have a link to my social media accounts, this thing, other videos, etc. All of it will be in the description. You might have to click on the little text that says show more to expand the description and see all the links. That's about it.